binomial times a binomial using the distributive property. Okay, so don't forget that the distributive property has to deal with um, multiplying a number or a monomial by everything inside the set of parentheses. So if you have um, this expression off to the right, remember the distributive property means to multiply everything inside the set of parentheses by 2x. So you're going to do 2x times 3x, which will give you 6x squared. And you're going to do 2x times the minus 1, which will give you minus 2x for your final simplified answer as 6x squared minus 2x. So when we're doing binomial times a binomial, we do something very similar to that. Okay, so if you look off to the right, we have two binomials. We have um, the 2x plus 1 as one binomial and 3x plus 7 as another binomial. We're going to multiply those. So we're going to take the 2x from the first binomial and we are going to distribute that 2x to everything inside the other set of parentheses. Oops. Okay, and we are going to end up having to multiply this first part of our factor by everything inside here. We're then going to take the second factor, in, or the second part, excuse me, of our binomial, the 1, with the plus sign, and we have to multiply it by everything inside the parentheses also. So we're going to have plus 1 times 3x plus 7. Okay, now we need to do out our distribution steps. So we're going to do 2x times 3x, which is 6x squared, and then 2x times 7, which is plus 14x. So now we've taken care of everything in green there. Okay. And now we're going to have to multiply the 1 times the 3x and the 1 times the 7. So we're going to have plus 3x and plus 7. Your last step would be to make sure that you combine any like terms that you're going to have. Okay, so if we look, we notice that we have the 14x plus the 3x we could combine. So we're going to have our final answer, 6x squared plus 17x plus 7. And this would be our multiplication answer. So let's try another one. So we have two binomials again. We have 3x plus 5 and 4x minus 2. So we're going to take those two binomials and we're going to multiply them. So when we do the multiplication, remember you're going to take the first term in your first binomial, which is 3x, and you're going to multiply it by the second binomial, so 4x minus 2. Okay, so we took care of those. So now we're going to take the second part of that first binomial, the plus 5, the sign goes with it, and we're going to multiply it by everything inside the second polynomial, 4x minus 2. Okay, so now we need to do our distribution steps. We're going to do 3x times 4x, which is 12x squared. 3x times the minus 2, which is minus 6x. So that one, those two are all set. And then we're going to do our distribution for the second one. So positive 5 times 4x, which is 20x. And the positive 5 times the negative 2, which will give you negative 10. Now you're almost done. You just have to make sure you can't combine any other terms. In this case, we can. We have the minus 6 and the plus 20x. Okay, so we end up with 12x squared plus 14x minus 10 for our simplified answer. Remember, just make sure that your answer is also in standard form when solving. Okay, for the next two problems, what I want you to do is I want you to copy them down in your notes, and I want you to solve them in your notes before you see me doing the solutions. Okay, so you have the first one here, which is negative 6x plus 1 times 3x minus 5, and I want you to do this now. So pause this video and do this, paper, do this one on your paper yourself.
Okay, so hopefully you went through and you solved this yourself or you simplified this yourself. So remember, you're going to take the first piece of the first binomial, the negative 6x, and you're going to multiply it by the second binomial, 3x minus 5. And then you're going to take the second piece of that first binomial, the plus 1, and you're going to multiply it by that second polynomial, which is 3x minus 5. Do out your multiplication. So negative 6x times 3x gives you negative 18x. Negative 6x times negative 5 gives you positive 30x. Oops, this should be an x, 18x squared. <clears throat> okay, then we have our 1 times 3x, which is plus 3x, and our 1 times negative 5, which will be minus 5. Okay, your last step is to make sure and see if you can combine any like terms. We can. So we have negative 18x squared plus 33x minus 5. Our answer is in standard form, so we are done. Okay, again, try this one so that you can see how you're doing with it. Okay, so now go through and take your first part. So we have 5x squared times 2x minus 4. And then we take our second half of that one, so plus 3 times 2x minus 4. And we end up with multiplying these two, so we have 10x to the third minus 20x squared. So you multiply those two. And then you're going to have 3 times 2x, which is plus 6x, and 3 times negative 4, which is minus 12 and see if there's any like terms that you can combine. Seeing none, we end up here with this as your final answer. I'm going to have you try one more. So copy this next one down too. Okay, so I want you to try and do this problem also. Okay, so again, remember, write that first part down, 2x times the 9x minus 3. And then we have our second part, which would be the minus 7 goes with that, times 9x minus 3. Remember, you notice that these two parts here are exactly the same. Okay, do your distribution. So you're going to have 2x times 9x, which is 18x squared, 2x times negative 3, which is minus 6x. And we're all set with those two. And then we have to do the minus 7 times 9x, which is minus 63x. And the minus 7 times the mi negative 3, which is plus 21. See if there's anything you can combine, which we can here, these two middle terms. So we end up with 18x squared minus 69x plus 21. It's in standard form, and it's simplified, so we are done. <coughs> so please just remember to continuously do the distributive property when you're doing these problems.